Hi everyone, it's Louise and welcome. I'm showing you the completed finished product here because it took about a month to get from painted to resined. And I am really happy with the results, so I want to kind of show it off a little bit. And this is on my tricorn black and also with my new pouring medium, which I'll have in the details. Hi everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art. And I'm back today to do another tray. It's been a while since I've done a tray because I've been, as you know, off exploring different different uh, horizons. But what I'm going to do with this one today is I'm going to be using my color art, I'm sorry, my color to go tricorn black is the base. And I'm going to use the same color palette as I used on the last creation, which was that uh, coffee cup holder. And it's still drying right now, the base, so we'll see how that one turns out. So I've got the same colors here. So I've got my Titan Buff by Amsterdam, my 24 karat gold Extreme Sheen, my uh, Burnt Sienna by Golden, my Artezas Pastel, Pastel Green, Pearl Pastel Green, and then this blue is mostly Amsterdam's greenish blue, but it has a little hint of Golden's uh, iridescent silver in it. I'm going to use my American Floetrol Cell Activator. And the PM, the pouring medium that I used to make these colors, was a combination of Glidden, because I still have my Glidden, I haven't gotten to the bear yet, and Josanya, because I ran out of Minwax. So I have three parts of this to one part of this. And it mixed up thinner, but I had this sitting for a couple days um, after, after the first pour, so it's probably thickened up. And I've left this thing open overnight to have it thicken up a little bit too. So the idea here is I'm going to lay down a design, probably my simple little S pattern like I've been doing, and I'm going to blow it out. I might blow it out a little bit differently this time than I have. We'll see as we go through this. All right, I'll get you down as I start pouring out the pillow, the base, and we'll get started. All right, be back in a second. Now the thing is with this black, it is thinner than my multi-pro. So we'll see how this goes. I've got it primed and taped. Hmm, I think I saw a chunk go in. Oh, that's right. I don't want, I don't want gloves on. So I want to be able to feel what I'm doing. All right, let's Let's get this spread a little bit. I have my base primed, if you haven't noticed. I primed it in white, but that's okay. I see air bubbles, so I've got to probably get some air bubbles out. Ah, there it is. Mm. Here we go. Here we go, fishing expedition. It's always something. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more. In the general direction of the pour. I don't wanna to put too much paint down. Good and I've got to have enough to cover and I've got more more stuff in there so let's get this out now holy cats I really need to get a fishing license okay everybody I'm going to pick up the pace here because this process is painstakingly long and I'll call out the colors as we go what I've got here is that Amsterdam's Titan Buff is my first color and just so you know, I didn't put the paint all the way to the edges yet because I just want to fill in the colors first and see where that gets me. This here is the 24 karat gold by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. And this is Golden's Burnt Sienna, which is very similar to the Nicolazzo gold, but to me has a little more of a rusty look. This is Arteza's 
uh, pearl pastel green. I'm trying to put enough down so it becomes visible, and I'm also setting it aside from the other colors so it has a little more independence. This is Amsterdam's bluish green combined with a little bit of iridescent silver by Golden. So here we go. Just finishing up all the color lay down here. So even before I lay down the cell activator, I'm going to put more black down and spread it out sort of to the edges, but not fully, because I want to have a little playroom when I actually blow it out. So I'm going to skip ahead here for a second. So I'm just drizzling down the white and the black cell activator over the top of the colors here, and then I'll be blowing it out. And I apologize for my voice, guys. I still am kind of getting over this cold and still slightly congested, so I'm a little bit deeper in my voice pattern than normal. So sorry about that. Hopefully I'll be better in a couple days. So with this particular pour, I decided to start from the middle to stretch it out because that center is always the hardest part to stretch once you've already started with the ends. So I wanted to see what would happen differently here. And I like the way it turned out, so I might do this again next time. Just to throw in a tip here, uh, one of my biggest worries when doing my first one of these was paint splatter. But what I find is that with this bloom recipe and um, the pillow, even though in this case the tricorn is thinner than my multi-pro, the thicker paints in general don't splatter unless, and you know, if I put the hair dryer like smack down on top of it, it would splatter. But the thicker paints, as long as you guide them nicely, like right here, they're going to go flow where you put them. I'll leave it like that for right now. And we'll play with it with a straw. Okay, so let's just take a look at this thing. So I'm looking this over, and I actually like it the way it is. So I don't think I need to do a whole lot, which kind of explains my futzing around here. What do I want to start with first? Probably need to get the black spread to the edges. So let's start with that. Do I have enough black? Let's just... Be very careful here. So again, I'm going to pick up the pace here because this is torturously long, but I have to be very careful as I do this because I don't want to drip any of the black on the edges, on the actual tray itself, or anywhere that it's not supposed to go. So I'm going to show some bits and pieces as I go through this, but I'm going to skip ahead a lot. since I've done this, so I'm kind of rusty. So right over the top. Let me get to the edge here. All right, good. Bear with me, folks. I'll probably fast forward through a lot of this. All right, let me get another little dupe. So with this paint, for some reason, for the final push into the corners, I had to use a toothpick because it actually would really get into the corners and not 
leave a residual mark all around because the toothpick is quite sharp and is very precise. So I'm finally using a palette knife to start actually playing with the composition. But as I said before, my initial blowout was really pretty good in my opinion, so I didn't need to do a whole lot. That's why it's the last thing I'm worrying about here. And when it's all said and done here in the big scheme of things, I'm hardly doing anything with the palette knife at all. So all I'm looking for here are just opportunities to extend where maybe the edge of a blowout would look better with a little bit more of a trail behind it and just make it look a little more flowing on the tray. So I'm continuing to fast forward here. I just didn't want to cut anything out and didn't know how to make it any shorter without missing parts. So we're just going to keep on and I'm just adding small wisps with the palette knife and even with the toothpick just to make it have a little more flow to it. I think sometimes I end up working on something I liked from the beginning more than something that needed more work to start with. tilt it. I'm just going to show it to you like this. I'll put a, uh, I'll do an overhead in a second. I just want to remind everybody about next Tuesday at 6 30 p.m. we're going to start our blooming collaboration with live chat. So here are the dried resin results and a little bit of a close-up in a second same as what you saw in the beginning. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it wasn't too long but I didn't want to take anything out so you can see all the different moves and plays I made with the uh, composition as I was going along. I love the way the cells played here. I love how the tricorn black really makes all those colors pop so nicely, and I think it looks really good in that natural wood tray. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you again next time. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll get all my latest art tutorials. Thanks.